everybody. Now we know what really happened. You know what really happened. So that's 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 make sure. But but, but the police. Uh, hey, look, but the police. We gonna stand by police, and that's what, that's what they do. I know all about you. I know all about you. That's a lie. It's just so bad that you got to be on the wrong side of history, bro. Let's see. You're going to be on the wrong side of history. You're going to regret that. Mm. Mm. Believe me. That's all I have to say. I see you fight now. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. Yo, that, that was hilarious. That Tay Jones. Um... I just I, listen, man. I thought that was like some kind of um, comedy skit. I'm dead ass serious. This this dude Tay Jones is supposed to be the intimidator, the threatener guy. You're light skinned nigga. You're a light skinned nigga like me. You don't take threats to light skinned dudes who try to talk like Deontay Wilder. Okay, that's number one. Number two. <laughs> number two. You know what's funny? Because like I said, I, I think differently. I think logically. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I think with common sense. I use facts, right? And the way he was talking to uh, Sugar Hill Stewart, trying to make these 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 uh, backhanded threats, make the fight, <laughs> right? You, you try to do all these intimidation factors and, and low key threats, right? Why didn't you do that with the Nevada State Athletic Commission to make sure the fight, you know, there was no issues with loaded gloves, right? Why didn't you make those threats to Vada? To make sure that when Mark Brennan allegedly spiked Deontay Wilder's drink, that that substance was found in his system and he was caught right-handed, <laughs> right? Why didn't you make that threat to the referees who Deontay Wilder said, you know, the, the ref was against him, right? To, to make sure the fight went through and, and, and to make sure it wasn't in, in one-sided favor of for Tyson Fury. Why didn't you make those threats to those folks, Right? To, to, to the sanctioning body, WBC, right? So-called, uh, you know, Mauricio Suleiman said he was there during the hands wrap, but he wasn't there. Why didn't you talk to him and his people to make those threats? That just shows you how powerless Tay Jones and Team Wilder is. Because you're talking to a trainer. A trainer don't make fights, bro. You're trying to threat a trainer about making a fight, right? You talk to Deontay Wilder's boss, who got, he got two, well, he got three bosses, really. Talk to Shelly Finkel, JDs, and Al Heyman, right? Talk to those three people and make those threats to make that goddamn fight. Oh, but here's the, here's the other kicker, right? Bob Arum, right? Who, uh, who oversees Tyson Fury. Talk to him as well. Last I heard, Tyson, uh, Bob Arum, before the, not Pavekin, I'm sorry, before the uh, Kubat Pula fight, because, you know, <laughs> Bob Arum was talking shit about Kubat Pula was going to knock out Anthony Joshua, this, that, and the other, and we, we all saw how that came out, right? We all, we all knew how that came out. Um, before that fight took place between Kubat Pula and Anthony Joshua, Bob Arum said the mediation between Team Wilder and Tyson Fury was on hold until after Kubat Pulev and the Anthony Joshua fight. That's what he said. That's what Bob Aaron said. Right? Now, also, another thing about Bob Aaron. Bob Aaron also mentioned that uh, the allegations, the cheating allegations and all this um, and stuff like that were, of course, were ridiculous. He also talked about the contract of the fight was expired, right? 
in the fight for the rematch. Neither Shelly Finkel nor JD is, of course, we never heard, we never hear from Al Heyman. None of these guys came out to either confirm or deny what Bob Ingram said. So my point is, is that Tay Jones, keep that same energy for JDs. Keep that same energy for Bob Ingram. Keep that same energy for Shelly Finkel. All these goddamn threats you're talking about to a trainer. Sugar Hill Stewart, he's a trainer. He don't make fights. Keep that same energy. Talk to Shelly Finkel. Talk to Bob Arum. Talk to JDs about making that goddamn fight. Talk to the people who make the goddamn fights. Not a goddamn trainer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker try to sound like Deontay Wilder. You are a low-level ass anti-thug. That's what you are, bro. You are you a low-budget anti-thug. For, for, for Team Wilder. I'm trying to sound like him. I know all about you. I know all about you. Make the third fight. The people want to see it. What people? Where's the, where, where's the demand? Where's the demand about the third fight? Okay? That ship has sailed, man. That ship has sailed. Nobody's talking about no goddamn third fight. People want to see... Uh, people want to see Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Nobody's looking for no goddamn third fight between Deontay Wilder and... and, and Tyson Fury. People want to see Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. That ship is sailed. Matter of fact, Deontay Wilder had three ships that sailed. He had multiple chances to fight Anthony Joshua. Right? You got people, and of course, Deontay Wilder right now is, still, is under silence. Now, ever since he came out with those goddamn, those, 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 like I said, those, those, those months, those months and months and months, nine months to create those goddamn lies, give birth to, to lies, um, about the cheating allegations, right? He came out with that. What was in like November, October, right? He, he took him. It took him nine months to create those lies. Nine months to give birth to those lies. I keep saying that. Nine months to give birth to those lies. He made that announcement. After that, he we ain't heard from Deontay Wilder. So he's he's in silent mode again. He's in silent mode again. But people are calling him out the woodworks now, right? People are calling him out, you know. Dillian White wants to fight him. Andy Ruiz wants to fight him, right? Um, who else? Uh, a few names I can't think of off, off the top of my head, but a lot of people want to fight him and calling him out. And I have not heard Deontay Wilder respond back ever since he came up with those cheating allegations from the LDBC young pharaoh and these online neanderthal idiots <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah man it is what it is um uh, but yeah man tay jones keep that same energy man for the right people to talk to about making a goddamn fight keep that same i want to see you do the same shit in front of bob aram jd's right shelly fingal i want to see you do that same well i know all about you make the fight i know all about you keep that same energy bro Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. That goes for the LDBC as well. Y'all want to make threats to trainers. Make threats to people who make the fight. The people in power to make these goddamn rematches. The, the, the judge who's involved in the mediation to put a rematch. Talk to him or her like that. Right? Y'all, y'all keep that same energy for those people that who are in power to make those decisions for a rematch. Not a goddamn trainer, as in Sugar Hill Stewart, because that shows how powerless you guys are making threats to trainers and not the people who really are in power to make the fight happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because again, if you guys had all that goddamn power, none of these cheating allegations would have ever happened. Because you would have told them from the from the jump. Listen, bro, you know. Tyson Fury cheated the first fight. Y'all better get y'all shit straight. Make sure the cameras ain't turned off. Make sure his, his, his gloves ain't loaded. Make sure Mark Breeland ain't spiking no drinks. And w whatever substance that's in, in Deontay Wilder, make sure it's caught. You should have did all that threat shit, all that low-key, low-budget, anti-thug shit to all the people involved in the first and second fight. California State Athletic Commission. Nevada State Athletic Commission. Nevada. WBC, Mauricio Suleiman, the refs. Make those threats to those people. Keep that same energy for those 
people. But I bet you they wouldn't. But they want to go ahead and make threats to Sugar Hill Stewart, a trainer. A trainer. A trainer. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying I would love to see him talk shit, him talk reckless to Bob Aram like that. I know all about you, Bob Aram. I know all about you. Make that fight happen, Bob. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that. Make that same, keep that same energy for Bob Aram. Keep that same energy for Shelly Finkel. Keep that same energy for JDs. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, family. Those are my thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below. GMOG Sports TV. You already know what it is. Signing out. Peace.